Hi, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be cutting a whole chuck roast, so stick around. Okay, so first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this up a little bit. Uh, right here, you can see a little bit of um, bone skin showing here, so we're gonna clean a little bit of that off. Try not to cut too deep into the meat. Okay. Now what we're going to do is turn this over and right on the So they've removed this, but there's normally a piece right here where it comes around, you have to skim that off. So they've already removed that piece for us. So what we're going to do is remove our our chuck from the main uh, part of the roast here. This is our chuck eye, this top piece. So what we're going to do is just follow this seam all the way down. Just keep pulling back and cutting this little membrane here. Okay, we're almost through. There we go. This is our whole uh, chuck eye piece here. So we're gonna set this aside. So this piece here is our Sierra steak. So what we're gonna do is trim off the majority of this fat here. Okay, we've got our uh, Denver steak here cleaned up. Now we're going to trim the rest of our Sierra steak and remove that. Oh, there's a little seam here that separates <clears throat> the uh, Sierra from the Denver. So we're gonna just pull that back. Kind of resembles a um, flank steak. Just follow that seam all the way through, try not to cut too deep. Kind of cut and peel as you go back. All right. So we've got our Sierra steak. Let's put our Denver ste steak aside here. This steak here is great for grilling. Let's finish cleaning that up a little bit. Don't want to go too heavy and get cut too much meat off of there. Peel off the silver skin. This little skin right here, that's called silver skin. It can be on there in small amounts, it's not gonna hurt anything, but in larger amounts, it'll be really chewy and you're not gonna enjoy your steak very much. All right. Trim the other side. A little more silver skin and we're done with this piece. Okay, that's pretty good, I can live with that. Okay, got our Sierra steak. Now let's move on to our Denver steaks. Finish trimming this uh, heavier fat off. With that, we can jump up to our uh, bigger knife here. 
take off a little bit more material. So this little section right here, you can uh, peel that off and you can use it for a nice laying stew meat. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll come back to that one later. All right, I can live with that. Finish peeling this off here. Okay, now we're going to cut this little chunk of meat off right where you see the seam right here. Alright, now this piece of meat is really good. That's the bonus of buying a whole chuck like that. You can actually uh, take apart this whole thing and get nice cuts that you wouldn't normally get. Uh, grocery stores don't typically sell these. So uh, what we're going to do is turn this over. You got your flat side right here, and then you've got a little point right there. Just square this off, cut that off. And look at the marbling in that. That's going to be a delicious steak. So we can use that for a stew meat also. And um, I like to square this end up a little bit here too. So what you're going to do is cut nice three quarters to one inch steaks. Just like that. It's a beautiful looking steak. Sorry for the lighting, hopefully you can see that. Okay. Now we're gonna keep cutting uh, up until, actually, I'm gonna cut this in half just so we don't get too big of strips of meat to grill up on the barbecue. So we're gonna cut that in half. And then these pieces, we're just gonna keep cutting into nice steak-like pieces. About three quarters to one inch. Got that there. Okay, now we've got our Denver steaks cut up. Okay, now we're going to work on our chuck. So what you're going to want to do from here is finish taking this piece off. Cutting that off. And what you have right here is your chuck eyes. Chuck eyes typically are the first uh, about three or so inches off of your first cut. This right here actually connects to your ribeye steaks. So um, it goes ribeye, then New York, farther along, along down the cow. But uh, these are excellent steaks. So what we're going to do is square this up here, just ever so slightly. It's not too necessary if you're cutting it for yourself, but uh, I work in a grocery department, so meat department of a grocery store. So they like to have their steaks nice and neat. So what we're going to do is cut two nice little I'd say about one inch steaks. Just one chuck eye and two chuck eye. Okay, really nice looking steaks. Okay, so put that in our pile here. Now what you can do with this whole piece, this would be your chuck roast. You wouldn't want to cut steaks all the way through here, it starts to get a little bit more tough. You can clean up this fat a little bit more, 
and clamp the silver skin on the back. So that's what we're going to do now. You don't want to clean it up too much, just that heavier fat. So now let's go ahead and uh, clamp our silver skin on this side here. Alright, that's pretty good for me. So, we've got kind of a smaller family, so I'm going to cut these into, I'd say, maybe a pound and a half pieces. Probably into thirds, actually. It seems to be a pretty, pretty good amount. Yeah, that'll do. So three nice chuck roasts. So with the rest of this, I'm gonna turn into stew meat and more trim. So let's trim this out a little bit. So for stew meat, I typically like to keep mine about quarter or so, quarter size. I don't like my stew meat too terribly big. So this piece here, there's really not a lot you can do with this. Um, there's a lot of gristle and silver skin in there. Uh, you're just better off just kind of chunking this up and grinding it. All right guys, I'm all done cutting that chuck roast up. Let's take a look and see what we got. All right guys, as you can see, we got our roast here. We got uh, four roasts. We've got our stew meat. We've got our Denver steaks here. And we've got our Sierra steak and chuck eyes. Those are gonna make some excellent steaks. And we've got our bowl of trim right here, which I can uh, lean out a little bit more to add to the fat. And the fat I'm planning on rendering down into um, lard. So uh, if you're buying this stuff, there's no reason to throw any of this away. So that's why, to me, I prefer to buy whole primals. That's what you call one of these whole pieces of meat is a primal. So if you go into a grocery store and you want to cut this up yourself, ask the, the meat cutter for a whole primal chuck roast. And... Uh, Oftentimes you'll get a um, probably a couple dollars discount. This uh, particular cut, um, this particular roast, I actually got over at Winco, and I, bu I bought this for four, uh, three ninety nine a pound. And I believe they're selling their chuck roast for about six ninety nine a pound. So that's already a two dollar pound savings. So if you eat a lot of um, chuck that can add up pretty pretty quick. So uh, that's why I like to buy a hole in the bag primal so we can cut it up yourself, save a little bit of money and gain some experience if you're if you don't know how to cut meat. Just watch these tutorials and uh, get a nice set of knives and you're all set. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode and I hope you thought it was informative. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you want to see any more episodes on more cuts of meat, please drop a comment down below. I'd like to hear from you. Alright, see you in the next episode.